I was thinking about this idea of membership, right? We don't have a formal membership at the church, but a lot of times we think that membership is just presence. Membership is just showing up uh, in a church. And you don't find that anywhere in the scriptures. Membership is actually engagement. Membership is participating. Think about your body, right? Your body has members. Uh, I have it, my arm right here, and I have my other arm, and they're not the same. They mirror each other, but they're not the same. And then I have my hand and fingers, and, and you have organs that are also members of your body. Each member has a different function. Each member contributes to the other. Each member is not complete without the other. So that's what the scripture says, for the body does not consist of one member, but of many. And what Paul says here is not one member meaning one person. He says, we are not all arms. We are not all hands. We're not all pastors. We're not, not all evangelists. We're not all prophets. We're not all drummers. We're not all greeters. We're not all encouragers. Some of us challenge people. Some of us have mercy in our hearts, more mercy, right? We all should have mercy, but some of us have more mercy. Some of us have more grace. Some of us have a, 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 are built by God to confront a little more. And we can do that in love, right? So we all, we are, we are not the same, uh, we're, we're not one member, but we're many. If the foot should say, because I'm not a hand, I do not belong in the body, that would not make it any less a part of the body. He continues, verse 21, chapter 12 in 1 Corinthians. The eye cannot say to the hand, I have no need of you, nor again the head to the feet, I have no need of you. On the contrary, the parts of the body that seem to be weaker are indispensable. And on those parts of the body that we think less honorable, we bestow greater honor. And our unpresentable parts are treated with greater modesty. So basically, uh, my encouragement to you is this, we need each other. I need you. This church needs you. The body of Christ needs you. Now is God dependent on you? God does not depend on us. He can raise somebody else to do what we're doing. But what an honor it is that we get to do this together. What an honor it is that we get to serve God as a church, as a body. What an honor it is that we get to be part of this thing that God is building here in Stanford, Connecticut. And I am fired up to see this next season of what God has in store for each one of us. We're going to see people come to Christ. We're going to disciple people. We're going to see people grow in Christ. We're going to see our youth be fired up and worshiping God. We're going to see people uh, be transformed, be delivered, be released. And all of that is going to happen, not because of me, not because of my preaching, not because of my leadership, because of us as a body of believers, belonging to one another, honoring one another, lifting one another up, making each other better, challenging one another, covering one another, keeping one another accountable, and making sure that we are all building God's house together. I hope you receive this in your heart. I hope that you get a sense for what God is trying to build here. Remember what I shared with you last Wednesday. There's a career, and then there's a calling. We all have careers, but God has called us to do what he has called us to do for a purpose. He calls busy people. He calls people who have things going on. God doesn't call the lazy. Well, he does, but the lazy stays where they are <laughs> because uh, they're lazy. <laughs> and you are not lazy because you're part of this team. If you've signed up for this team, if, you're, if, you, if you are engaged in what God is doing here, you're probably busy, but you're not lazy. So let's do what God has called us to do. And, and change the world together because he calls on people who are doing things and, and you are called. You don't just have a career, you are called. God loves you. We love you. Let's continue to build his kingdom.